Hello, hello, Jennifer Gilman here, and happy Friday to all of you. So it's day five. Can you believe it? So day five, we're going to be talking about the blue, purple, and black category in the plant nutrients in the rainbow. And I am curious, have any of you played around with some of these so far this week? And drop a comment below if you have. And this is usually the tougher category. This is the category where people are like, oh my God, I'm eating nothing in this category unless you have blueberries, so that's a common one. And the blueberries have been delicious lately. I've been able to really enjoy those. Almost every store that I go to has some really good blueberries. So I would say the last three weeks I've been easily putting those in into my um, you know daily nutrition. However, when blueberries, I have to admit, if I'm not having blueberries, I'm like, am I having anything from this category? It's kind of tough. So people need to make a conscious effort usually in this category. So hopefully we can make it a little bit easier for you. Let me tell you a little bit about the science of this category in particular. Um, so again, I've got my notes just to keep me on track. Uh, anti-inflammatory, all of these are anti-inflammatory. If you don't get that by now, <laughs> is really, really good. A lot of people come to me saying, I want you to help me. Um, I wanna you know, coach with you. I want you to help me go on to an anti-inflammatory diet. This is the one of the first steps, really, really driving home the vegetables and fruits um, from all the different colors. So a great way to do that. Also very protective of the heart, the bone, the liver, um, and blood vessels. So all the main functions, right? So hey Tammy, great to see you. So the, again, this is the category you're gonna have to make a conscious effort for. And then the other benefits for this is for the brain and cognition. You will think clearer this is like, think about this, all vegetables and fruits are food for the brain, but this one in particular, the blue, black, purple category. So lots of blueberries and the black rice and eggplant and things like that, all right? The other thing science-wise, um, let's see, oh, fruit. Let's talk about the colors of the fruit. So we've got blueberries we mentioned, blackberries, if you're in an area, you can get boysenberries, um, huckleberries, marionberries. Those are also really good in this category. They're very protective of our cells. So we are made up of like trillions of cells and we do need to protect them. We also, when cells die, we want them to leave our body. So that's a whole nother topic. We want to make sure that our body doesn't hold on to those. Um, they need to be, you know, through good detoxification pathways, they need to be released from our body. Many times there's inflammation because those cells have not been released. Uh, but the part I'm talking about with this category is protective of the cells. And these berries are so protective of our cells. So just keep that in mind when you're eating, you're like, yes, I'm nurturing and putting a little blanket around my cells. So you can visualize, visualization is really powerful when you're trying to eat healthier is just really think and visualize how beautiful this is for your body, okay? All right, uh, other blue purple fruits would include figs, grapes, prunes, and raisins. Now, when we're looking at dried fruit, make sure you're reading the labels, okay? I wanna tell you a few things to watch out for. One of them is added sweeteners, which you probably knew I was gonna say that, but anything, you'll have like total sugars and then you'll have added sugars. We want zero in the added sugars area. We don't want them to add more. There's already plenty of sugars in this fruit, especially when it's dried and it's condensed. So zero added sugars. The other things you're gonna look out for is making sure when you're buying dried fruit, no sulfites. We don't want sulfites. We don't want BHT or BHA, okay? We won't go get into detail about that, but BHT and BHA. So none of that kind of stuff, sulfites, those, and then no added sugars, all right? And then um, when you get these, they're, all, they're very beneficial. And many people know that prunes help with constipation. So it's very good to, for your digestion and keep things moving and keeping yourself eliminating things from your body on a regular basis, on a daily basis. And then, um, oh, and it's also, the prunes are great for bone health, which is something I forgot about. So that was really cool to remind myself about some of these. Purple grape, grapes, uh, great for mood enhancing, okay? So I'm not talking about the wine category here, it's actually eating the purple grapes, really good for your mood. Now let's move on to the vegetables so you have an idea of what can I be adding 
you know, for my vegetables here in the purple category. We've got purple cabbage, we have eggplant, purple kale, black olives, black rice, and purple rice. And then there's also purple varieties of things like bell peppers, carrots, potatoes, and cauliflower. So experiment with those and have fun with those colors. And again, we're looking at eating the rainbow. So if you just think about it in its most simplistic form, just look for different colors and add them in. And then just one quick um, study I wanna share with you before we talk about ways to incorporate them is a study showed that purple sweet potatoes have been shown to be beneficial for liver health and that purple rice has been shown to have anti-inflammatory effects. So know that there's a lot of science to this. There's many studies. I just kind of want to give you a couple so that you know, yes, I'm not just saying eat the rainbow just for the heck of it. You know that there's science behind this for your health. All right, the last section that is really fun to hear, of like how do I add this? How can I incorporate it into my day? So having berries in a smoothie is a great idea. I just want to give you a word of caution when you're having a smoothie. Make sure there's vegetables in there too because if you're just having fruit smoothies, you are gonna spike your sugar so high. We need to make sure each meal you have has like a protein, a fat, and a carbohydrate. That's really important to try to build these together and combine so that we stabilize things in your body and that it's getting the nutrients that, that you, you, know, you really need. So if you're doing smoothies, we wanna make sure there's some kind of um, either plant protein or whey protein, whatever your body can handle, and then a nice fat, which could be avocado thrown in there or almond butter or something like that, and then your carbohydrates, which could include fruits and vegetables, okay? So that's the basis of a good smoothie. Adding blueberries, blackberries to yogurt, oatmeal, breakfast cereal, um, that's, that's a great way to add that. Try purple kale instead of the, your usual green kale because again, as you know now, there's different nutrients in there. And um, hey, Heather, great to see you. I'm glad you guys are on. Uh, making a stir fry for, with purple vegetables. So uh, adding things to the stir fry that maybe you never thought of, like eggplant, right? So put some eggplant in there, maybe some purple potatoes, um, and even some purple rice instead of you know, white rice. Or if you're a little nervous about trying the purple rice, Combine it first and do some either brown or white rice, put some, put some purple in there as well. I love purple rice, it's very different texture and taste. It's like nutty flavor and it's almost like you're eating it and you feel like, oh, this is so much better for my body. You know, you kind of just instinctively know that or at least that's how I feel when I have it. Um, and then let's see, try shredding some purple cabbage um, into salads for adding additional color and then making purple, uh, purple carrot puree, okay, as a base for soups. So actually getting those purple carrots, steaming them, and then mashing them and putting it into soups. So that's a unique way to do that. And then snacking on some of those dried fruits that we mentioned, but make sure they're small quantities. We really don't want a lot of those. A quarter cup is plenty uh, because they're just really packed full of sugar. So I hope this helped. Drop your comments below. I love seeing your pictures as you guys are showing me what you're eating. And we all benefit from that because this is a community and just really like show those plates off. And especially one of the things I love is uh, when you're out eating because it can be a challenge and you're like, oh my gosh, I've got to get my vegetables in. And Jen's in my head. She's telling me like, make sure I have a salad or a side of steamed broccoli with this meal. And I want to be in your head because that's a great reminder of like, oh, I need some color. I need some color here and then snap that picture and put it into our group, all right? You guys have a great day. Any questions at all, you can uh, ask me in this group. You can also private message me. Bye for now.